Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to restore the All Tabs warning in Microsoft Edge if you're going to be closing all your tabs and perhaps you close out your browser, doesn't give you a second chance to reconsider closing out of everything. I know personally that you know it's definitely nice to have a little warning if you're accidentally going to close out of a bunch of tabs and rather than trying to reopen them all, this tutorial should hopefully make it a little simpler for you. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by left clicking on the start button one time. Type in regedit. Best match should come back a regedit here. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So let me just back out of here from a previous tutorial. And before we do anything, I would always suggest creating a backup of your registry. So in order to do that, just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left one time. Left click on export. And now just save the file name as whatever you want. Make sure export range is selected at all. And I would personally suggest a desktop or somewhere easily accessible. And then left click on save. If you ever made a mistake and have to go back to the earlier version of the registry, just go up to the file tab, left click and then left click on import and then you just would navigate over to wherever the registry entry was and just restore your registry back so pretty straightforward process so once you've made a backup of your registry you want to go ahead and expand the H key current user folder so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it and now you want to go locate the software subfolder here so expand that one as well now expand classes now expand local settings so you're going to have to scroll down here a little bit right here expand that and now you want to go ahead and look for software expand the Microsoft folder now now you want to expand the Windows expand current version now you want to expand app container now expand storage and I'm going to just drag the screen over a little bit here so I can see where I'm going and you guys can also rewatch parts of the video or you can see the path up at the top of the screen here so you can see where we are navigating to so next thing you want to go ahead and look for is Microsoft Edge underscore and then it'll be an A-W-E-K-Y something along those lines so we'll be able to find it pretty quickly hopefully so Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge right here so pretty close to the top most of you guys should be pretty similar situation as I am here so pretty close sure not to scroll down too far here and now that we are here you want to go expand that and now you want to expand Microsoft Edge and now you want to go ahead and ex left click on the main folder it should be a main folder no more expanding here let me make the screen a little bit wider and you can see the entire path that we have gone through to get to this point it's very long I don't usually go this far but you can see there are quite a few folders we have to go into so if you have to pause the video feel free if not we're gonna continue on here so now you wanna go ahead and and double click on the ask to close all tabs on the right side here so if you do not see a D word value for that we're gonna to have to create one so just right click in a blank space left click on new and then left click on D word 32 bit value we're gonna call this ask to close all tabs please note there are no spaces in here and the first letter of each word is capital so again ask to close all tabs hit enter on your keyboard to save that and once we have created it or if it's already in here you want to right click on it and then left click on modify for value data you, you want to change the zero in this value data field to a one so type the number one and then make sure basis at the hexadecimal left click on OK once you're done with that close out of here restart your computer and hopefully that has allowed you the ability to give you an all tabs close warning when you're closing out of windows on your Microsoft Edge web browser. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.